word of God. And um nataka tutulie mambo yote ya swali ili tuweze kuendelea. At the last time when I I had an opportunity to share with you kuna topic ambayo tulikuwa tumeianza na siku ya leo ningetaka tukaweze kuendelea kutoka hapo lakini kabla hayo nimekuwa hapa na labda kwa ajili ya wageni ambao wako hapa siku ya leo ningetaka tu nikaweze kukitambulisha ah uh, jina langu ni Pastor Kimadi Siri nimekoka Kristo ni bwana ah uh, nimewa niko na bibi mmoja tu bibi mmoja tu eh eme nashukuru bwana kwa ajili ya kunipea familia niko na tumebarikiwa tuko na watoto wawili David ambaye amesimama hapa na Nacho ambaye ameketuko Amen na tumshukuru Bwana kwa hiyo familia yetu So as I was saying the last time I shared with you there was a topic that we are starting na siku ya leo ningetaka tukaweze kuendelea kutoka hapo lakini maybe for the sake of those who are not with us during that time na tumeweza kukaa for some time we were talking about the great cash nation ambayo tulikuwa tumeita GCM na tukasema ya kwamba great cash nation ama mission maana ya pili ama ya tatu ya mission ni assignment duty obligation task ama job or work that's another definition of mission na tukasema ya kwamba for any mission to be accomplished there must be somebody who is going to take that part ya kuweza kukamilisha ile mission. Na tukasema ya kwamba different assignments require skills. Hili ambayo inaweza kutumika kukamilisha ile mission. We all require different skills so that we can be able to accomplish the task that has been given unto us. And then we say that skills are acquired through training through experience and then exposure and divine intervention divine intervention and on our case we are going to dwell so much on divine intervention divine intervention and then we say that by now i believe all of us we know uh the thing for our church that is deliverance church kenya is the great catch and we read this in the book of luke chapter 5 and i believe by now we are aware that jesus was not interested to teach his disciples on how to fish yesu hakuwa na haja ya kufunza wa wanafunzi wake jinsi ya kuvua samaki. Hiyo sisi sote tumeelewa mpaka saa hii. Kwa maana tunaona ya kwamba akina Peter na James na wenzake wale ambao walikuwa wameenda kuvua samaki ni watu ambao walikuwa wamekomaa katika kasi ya kuvua samaki. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho Yesu alikuwa anataka kuintroduce katika maisha yao ambayo ilikuwa ni saidi ya kuvua samaki. Na hii ndio kitu ambacho tungetaka kuongelea juu yake. Na tunaona ya kwamba ajenda ya Yesu in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 9 to 11 inasema ya kwamba pale mwisho inasema ya kwamba and Yesu akawaambia 
I want to, because of the time I just want to read the, the last part of it. Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boat to the land, they left everything and followed him. Baada ya Yesu kuwa ambia mambo yale aliwaambia na kufanya muujiza wa kupata samaki mingi, anawaambia now do not be afraid because from now the mission is not for you to catch what the fish but you are going to be the fishers of me na tunaona ya kwamba baada ya kutoka pale walienda wakaacha mashua sao na net sao na wakaweza kumfuata Yesu meaning ya kwamba kile Yesu alikuwa anataka kufanya kiliweza kufanyika siku ya hiyo siku na wote wakaweza kumfuata Yesu hili wakaweza kufanya mission ambayo Yesu alikuwa ameanza katika maisha yao in the book of Matthew 28:18 pale mwisho inasema yae kwamba go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all that i have commanded you and behold i am with you to the end of the age amen kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba mission ya Yesu haikuwa kufundisha wanafunzi wake jinsi ya kuvua samaki kwa sababu hiyo ni kazi ambayo walikuwa already wanaijua ni kazi ambayo Peter walikuwa ni wavuvi ambao wa, walikuwa ondali wao walikuwa wanajua kazi yao kwa hivyo hiyo haikuwa ni kazi ambayo Yesu alikuwa anataka kuwafunza lakini alikuwa na introduce another mission ambayo ilikuwa ni jinsi ya vile wataweza kufikia watu kuambia juu ya Kristo kuambia juu ya uokovu uh, wa Kristo na hiyo ndio mission ambayo a uh, Yesu alikuwa anataka waka, akawese kuintroduce kutoka kwao. So, we know that this was the mission that Jesus had. And we know that for you to become uh, to be involved in this mission, the first uh, the, the first thing that you need to do is that there is salvation. Na swali ambayo tunajiuliza siku ya leo, wakati ulipoeana maisha yako, ulipookoka, ni jambo gani ambalo ulifanya? Kwa sababu tunajua ya kwamba in the book of Timothy, second Timothy The book of second Timothy, uh, chapter 1 verse 9 nasema he has saved us and called us to a holy calling not because of our works but by his own purpose and by his grace he granted us in Christ Jesus before time began. This is where we learn even before we uh, wakati tulikuwa tunaanza ya kwamba alituokoa kwa neema yake na tumeokolewa kwa ajili ya sisi tukaweze kufanya kasi yake so when you gave your life to Christ how did you do that how did you uh, how did you get born again and i want us to just check do a check up na hii tuipitia tukasema kuna sile ambazo wanaitanga wote a uh, preliminary check out sile ambazo tu, labda tunaweza sema ni kiwango ambacho kinakupitisha nikiuliza ndugu yangu hapa yeye ni mwanajeshi na nikimuuliza sile eh, mahitaji ama vitu ambazo kwanza huwa sinaangaliwa ndiposa uweze kuingia katika jeshi hata kupatia hata kuambia ya kwanza kabisa ya kwanza kabisa inakuanga hiki na hiki na hiki kwa hivyo na sisi tunataka tujue kabla haujakuwa mwanajeshi wa Yesu kwa sababu we are the soldiers of Christ we are in the army of Christ so before you become a soldier in the army of the Lord what are those preliminary check out the first qualification is you must be born again i believe this we said and this we saw in the book of romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 and by nasema and that if you confess and this i want you to mark if you confess with your mouth jesus as lord and believe in your heart 
that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, is sorting to righteousness, and with the mouth confesses, is sorting to salvation. So, with our mouth, we make confession. And with our heart, we believe. Amen? And this is a question that we need to ask ourselves. When we made a confession, when you did, did you do that confession first? Did you do the confession? Did you add an opportunity to go before the Lord and say, Hi, Kimari, I'm a sinner, and I, 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 I ask for your forgiveness. Did you have that opportunity to open your mouth and make that confession before the Lord? Because this is what lead to salvation. And when now you make that confession, it is you to believe in your heart. You believe in your heart that leads to righteousness. Amen? Amen. Now, that is the first qualification. Yakoba, for you to be in the army of the Lord, you must be born again. And the second one is that be strong and courageous. Because in this battle, and I would like to use my brother here, in the army, ukingia jeshi, awendu kumwe chani pare na kusale, sindio? Awendi, bari ambapo utasema, sasa nimefika wacha ni kule ni nisale. Aha, pale ni maari ambapo kuna mission. Na mission ya jishu na juwa ni kwamba wao diyo wanalida hinji. Wao diyo wanatumika katika wakati kunaesa kuwa na vita. Kwa hivi unajua ya kwamba, when you get in, your mission, you enter there knowing your mission, be strong and courageous. And the other one, be ready to be sent. Be ready to be sent. In any mission, kuna wale ambao ni viongosi, kuna wale ambao ni mamajendari, ambao wana kupatia maagiso, wana kuambia kiri ambacho utafanya. I happen to pass through some kind of a training. And I believe one thing that nobody in Ambua ni kwamba ukisha pewa assignment. Wewe fanya kwanza, then complain later. Awesi kwanza kuseme ya kwamba aa, misi nafanya, aa, unambua fanya kasi kwanza, then complain later. So be ready to be sent. Anaesa kuwa, yule ambaye ni mkupo wako ni mbogo kuliko wewe, lakini utamueshimu. Amen. The other Qualification in Kwamba have the knowledge of the kind of battleground. Have the knowledge. Jua vita vile ambazo unenda kupigani ni vita unagani. And as when I said I said that as we are going to draw so much on the, the divine intervention, divine intervention. So vita said to sio samwiri. Vita said to sio sakupigana maguni. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. Amen? And this takes us now to the book of Philippians. Chapter 6 from verse 10. Ephesians, sorry. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 6. In Asa Maidi, finally be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Continue. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against devil's schemes. Mm -hmm. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against lust, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of the evil in the heavenly land. Mm -hmm. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. And am I, if you have your Bible, na kwa wale ambao wako na nijito sigui kama uta highlight ama utema, therefore, put on that one, put on, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. 
And after you have done everything to stand. Amen? Start from then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the blessed spirit of righteousness in praise, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep in praying for all the saints. Amen? I believe that verse that you have learned in the Tupatia Mungoso. Kuna vitu ambaso tunambua tukawese kufanya. Na tunasema ya kwamba sisi kama wanajeshi ambao wako ama sisi kama askari ambao wako katika jeshi la buwana kuna hile kile ambacho sunasai kufanya hili tukawese kuwa tuko tayari kwa hile kasi ambayo wana mituita asubu tulipo wansa tulisema ya kwamba we are the co-workers with God we are the co-workers with God amen ya kwamba wewe ukitambua ya kwamba wewe ni mfanyi kasi pamoja na buwana utafanya jitihada yote kuhakikisha ya kwamba umefanya kile ambacho kinaitajika hili ukawese kuwa ukotayali kufanya ile kasi ambayo buwana amekutia na hapo awali tumeweza kusoma majiso tukasema ya kwanza ni kwamba lasma uwa mwekoka Lasma huwe ondani Lasma huwe tayari kutumwa Lasma huwe Uko The fourth one tumesema ni The fourth one tumesema ni gani You have to have The knowledge Of the kind of the battle That you are going to engage in Amen Na hapa tu katika hiki kitabu ambacho tumesoma Amen naambiwa ya kwamba ya batu ya batu vita vietu vita vietu sio ya mwili na damu tunajua sana ya kwamba mwanajeshi yote ambaye anaweza enda vitani anakuomba na silaha yake anakuomba na bunduki ambayo amebeba labda anaweza kuwa na kisu labda anaweza kuwa na chochote kile ambacho kinahitajika wakati ambapo anaenda vitani. Kwa hivyo mwanajeshi yeyote ambaye anaenda vitani lasma hawe na silaha yake. And in the normal hii ya mwili na 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 na, 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 na damu lasma kuwe kuna vitu ambavyo utatayarisha. Lakini hapa neno la Mungu linatuambia nini? Ya kwamba au macho vita vyetu sio sa mwili na damu. The battle is not against flesh and blood. Na tunachuliza kama ni vita na sio vita ambazo tunaweza kupigana na mwili. Sio vita ambayo tunatumia nguvu ya mwili. Then what kind of a battle is it? What kind of a battle is it? Na hapa neno la Mungu limetuambia kwamba finally inaanza na kusema finally finally hiyo ni kumaanisha nini? Hii umefanya hayo mambo yote yale ambayo tulianza nayo na umejua ya kwamba uko qualified juzi wakati ulikuwa hapa ndugu yetu Oviambo alitupatia adili yake na kwa wale ambao wanaendaga kwa mtandao mnasikiliza iko kwa YouTube iko kwa Facebook. Kwa hivyo ukisikiza kile ambacho alituambia ni kwamba wakati ambapo alienda katika kushaguliwa kuwa mwanajeshi kuna yale vi, kuna 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 vitu ambavyo aliambiwa aweze kuproduce na akapeana sote. Na baada hapo 
kuna mambo yengine ambayo alipitishwa na katika kila hatua ilikuwa na maagizo yake na mwishoe baada ya haya yote kupitishwa diposa sasa aliambiwa nao you are qualified to go through the, the training and here we are being told finally finally ndio tunaambiwa ina tunaambiwa kwamba finally be strong in the lord and in his mighty power put on sema put on put on niko na koti hapa asubuhi nilipotoka nyumbani i had to put on my coat na tunaambiwa kwamba you have to put on when you, you you put on something it means it covers part of your body now kama mwanajeshi yoyote for you to go to the battlefield kuna hile mavasi ambayo unasaidi kuvaa kuna yale mavasi ambayo unasaidi kutumia ndio uweze kuingia katika vita na hapa tunaambiwa kwamba put on the full armor of god you cannot be able to go to any battlefield if you don't have the hammer hiyo ndiyo vitu ambazo sina kukinga kuna kofia ambayo unavaa tuseme kama our brother pale yeye ni mwendeshaji wa pikipiki na wakati wote utamkuta kuna kofia helmet ambayo huwa anavaa ni kwa sababu gani anaivaa kila wakati ni kwa sababu unapovaa ile kofia in in case kuwe na accident ama kitu yote ifanyike you can be able to protect your hand kwa hiyo kuna mavazi ambayo tunasaidi kuyavaa hili yakawese kutusaidia in case kuwe na hatari yoyote na ukiwa kama mwanajeshi kama vile tumesema ni kwamba lazima uwe unajua umeenda kwa vita na lazima haya mavazi yote uwe umevalia na tumeambia kwamba the first thing that is that you need to put on the full armor of god put on and i want to emphasize on this that for you to be able to overcome remember that the battle is not against flesh and blood hawe stoka hapa useme tumeona sarakazi ambazo wengine huwa nafanya si ndio naambiwa sijui na kanyango kwa mgongo sijui wengine naambiwa fanyie nini but what, one thing that you need to understand is that the battle that we are engaged in is not against flesh and blood amen it is not against flesh and blood na ndiposa tunaambiwa ya kwamba kama wewe unataka kuwa mwanajeshi wa Kristo lazima uvae put on the full armor of God amen put on the full armor of God na basi na kwanza na ningetaka kuna picha ambayo tulikuwa tume ningetaka tukaweze kuangalia ya mwanajeshi ambaye ako kwa vita yule ambaye amesimama ama ambaye anaingia kwa vita okay this is just an illustration ya that was the helmet the sword the shield the breastplate the belt and the feet so at least we have an illustration of mwanajeshi ambayo anaenda vitani lakini hii tunaambiwa hii ni ya mwili but is giving us inatuonyesha ama inatuongoza ili tukaweze kujua tunapoingia katika vita ni nini ambacho tunastahili kuwa tumefanya na ya kwanza tunaambiwa um they are put on what the belt of truth shunoni 
ukaweze kuvaa nini mshipi wa ukweli si ndio tu why do you wear belt for me maybe for me kwa nini uvae mshipi wengine wanasema iswali si anguge aha why 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 why, why do you wear a belt Yes. So when you wear the belt, I have the belt. When I wear this belt, nikiwa sina, nisikiange kuna kama kuna kitu ambacho nimekosa. Nisikiange kama hiyo nguo kama kwanza inge, kama inge, itakuwa haikushiki vizuri, utasikia kama inaenda kuanguka. Mshipi inashikilia ile nguo ambayo imefungwa huo mshipi. Kumaanisha ya kwamba kuna hushi ambao inafunika na katika hili neno ambalo tunaambia ya kwamba the belt of truth you have to wear the belt of truth in the book of john john chapter 8 verse that that too john 8 that too in a same then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free When you will know the truth the truth will set you free neno la mungu ni ukweli neno la mungu ndio linakupatia mwangasa wa kujua mambo ya mungu usipokuwa na neno la mungu hakuna kasi yoyote ya mungu ambayo unayeweza kuifanya kwa sababu tunakumbuka Yesu alipokuwa katika when before he started his ministry alipoenda ku eh, shetani alipoenda kumjaribu kuna swali ambalo alimwambia na akamwambia fanya huu haya mawe yakawe nini mkate Yesu alimjibu akamwambia nini man shall not win by what by blind rule but by everyone that comes or proceeded from the mouth of God so for you to be able to do the work of God you must have the word of God and the word of God when you, you know it it will give you it will help you to know the truth and when you know this truth this truth will set you free amen so you need to know the word of God you need to uh, to have the word of God In the book of John the same uh, John 14 14 verse 6 inasema John 14:6 inasema Jesus answered I am the way and the truth and life no one comes to the father except through me I am the way I am the way so the word of God In the book of John 1:1 in a sema in the beginning was the word and the word was with God Amen So Jesus himself is the word of God So you need to know about this Jesus Remember we saying that for you to engage part of the prerequisite of you being absorbed in the mission you have to know what kind of a battle you are going to face vita vyako unasaidi kuzijua na wewe ukawezi ndio uweze kujua ni jinsi gani ambavyo utaweza kumwakilisha Kristo pale nje lazima ujue juu ya Kristo ambaye unaisema juu yake ukiona pale nje kuna yule atakuuliza huyu Kristo umeongea juu yake ye ni nani tunajua mahali tuko environment yetu, yetu hapa tunajua wale ambao tuko na wao ni wapinga Kristo na kitu ya kwanza ni kwamba hawaamini ya kwamba Kristo ni mwana wa Mungu na yeye ni Mungu kwa hivyo kuna yule ambaye atakuuliza huyu Yesu ambao unaongea juu yake yeye ni nani na hata wanaweza kupatia yale maelezo ambao wao wanajua lakini wewe ukiwa 
where a soldier in the army of the Lord, you will be able to stand and to tell them about Christ that you know. Amen? Kwa hizi lasma, uweze kuwa unajua juu ya huyu kristu ambaye utaenda kuongea juu yake. Kwa sababu, unapo ujua huyu, then he will be able to help you to know how you can be able to handle such a matter. In the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 2.15, 15, nasema ya kwamba do, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who collected and those word of truth amen do your best to present yourself to God as one approved you have been approved you have been approved you are in this mission because how to cut a corner au kupitia mchi ambaye ifai you have been approved wewe umeitwa wewe unajua ya kwamba i am a co-worker with god this is my mission this is what god has called me to do and this is what i'm going to do so present yourself as one who has been approved amen present yourself as one who has been approved worker kama utajua ya kwamba hii ni kazi yangu you are not going to be ashamed of it amen you are not going to be ashamed you are going to do it with all your heart with all your mind and all your soul amen then the next hammer that you need to use is the blessed spirit of righteousness the blessed spirit of righteousness Psalms 106 Psalms 106 verse 3 inasema How blessed are those who keep justice who practice righteousness at all times Blessed are they who maintain justice who constantly do what is right Amen. Righteousness. Utahua. I believe that was Kiswahili nasema. Wewe lasma ujue ya kwamba umeshaguliwa na umewekwa uko na kiwango tofauti na yule ambaye unaenda hata kupigana na yeye kiwango chako kiko tofauti na tunasema ya kwamba for you to be able to attain righteousness for you to be able to attain righteousness you have to obey the word of god remember how we are using this tunatoka kutoka the word of god ambaye ni yesu and then for you to be able to do this mission, you have to obey. Yesu wakambia wanafuzi wake. Ya kwamba, kutoka siku ya leo. You are going to be what? The fishers of men. Na tunaoma, tunaona ya kwamba, this is a tick, more time. Baada ya kutoka katika hile mashua, tunaambia ya kwamba, waliyacha kila kitu. Previous night, they are told their whole night wakitafuta samaki na baada ya kupata haya hizi samaki tunaona kile kilifanyika ni kwamba it meant nothing to them they followed the voice of Christ aliwaambia from today mimi from now on you will be the fishers of men na tunaona ya kwamba baada ya kutoka kwa maji walifuata Yesu na wakaanza kasi na Yesu kutoka mahali pale. So obedience is the key. You have to obey for you to be able to fulfill 
righteousness, you will have to obey the word of God. Amen? Na ye, Yesu, he is the word of God. Matthew 5, 6. Matthew 5, 6. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, 5 verse 6. In the same Ivy. Blessed are those who hunger and thus for righteousness, for so they will be filled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for so they will be filled. Wakati wa wote, ambapo ukunanja, you look for food, na kama ni kiu kunacho, you look for water, or something that is going to quench your dust. Na tunawana ya kwamba, nienu na mungu inatuambia kwamba, Blessed Wambawa wamebarikiwa Ambaye wamebarikiwa Ni hile ambaye Anaye tafuta Those who anger Those who anger Kila wakati Unatafuta Unatafuta Una make sure ya kwamba You are going to do what To do the right thing You are going to be involved In the right thing I know the late now, maishi mekua ngumu sana. Na sana sana unakuta, wakati mwingine tunapo endria na maisha haya, hapa duniani, tunajikuta kuna vitu ambazo sinafanyika katika maisha yetu. Hambayo unaitaji msaada labda kutoka kwa watu wengine, hama unaitaji kitu fulani, hili uweza kuendresha maisha yako. Na sa ingine unajibata ya kwamba, labda for you to be able to get that help, you need to do something. Either you need to compromise your faith so that you are going to get what you want. But the word of God is saying that blessed when you are mebalikiwa ni yule ambaye akuna kiu cha kufanya ya righteousness to do the right thing. Amen? So, we don't have any leeway. Atuna jia ingine Hambayo tunese sema, hii ndiyo ntafuata. Hama hiki ndiyo ntafanya. Nese fanya hivi, mungu ataelewa. God you know, God you understand. Mungu ailewi, dhambi ni dhambi. Ukifanya dhambi, ahitu kadhambi. Uwe, kadhambi in our, in our language is a name of a person. Kadhambi. So, whoever is called kadhambi, I am not, it's your way nasema. And I mean, Wewe unayefanya jambu lolote lile. Lisilo lambatana na neno la mungu. Hiyo ni dhambi. Na dhambi inabaki kiwa nini? Ikiwa dhambi. Hata kama ni dhobo. Hiyo ni dhambi. Na inasairi kuekwa katika orodha na dhambi ingine yoyote hile. The book of Proverbs. Proverbs 11 verse 30. 11.30 Proverbs 11.30 Inasema nini? The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he who wins souls is wise. Tunda la mwenye haki ni Tunda la mwenye haki ni muti wa uzima. Ni muti wa uzima. Tunda Tunda la mwenye haki ni muti wa usima. You know, remember who you are. And I want us to keep on reminding ourselves that we are the co-workers with Christ. Amen? We are the co-workers with Christ. You have a mission. And for you to do that mission, there are things that you have to follow. There are things that you have to obey. Na tunambea kwamba, tunda la mwenye haki ni muti wa usima. Matendo yako, njia sako, mieno yako, maongeo yako, 
chochote kile ambacho tunaweza ku describe who you are make an impact in the life of the people that you directly or indirectly get involved with amen matendo yako maisha yako kile ambacho unaongea jambo lolote lile ambalo utahusika nalo kuna vile itagusa maisha ya mtu mwingine kwa njia moja ama nyingine wewe kwa kinywa chako you can build na kwa kinywa chako you can be able to scatter kwa mienendo yako unaweza fanya mtu akawezi kujua ukweli juu ya Kristo na kwa mienendo yako unaweza fanya mtu akawezi kupotea kwa hivyo ni sisi wenyewe tujijue ujiulize mimi nikiwa mfanyi kasi pamoja na Kristo how am i advancing this kingdom that god has given us how am i becoming a partaker of this mission how am i fulfilling what god has called me to do am i doing the right thing if it's the one that you're going to speak are they the ones that are going to build or are they going to be the ones that are going to scatter How can you be able to define yourself? How can somebody who knows you define you? Kwa mtu ambaye anayekujua. How can they be able to define you? Can they really be able to stand and be able to tell people about your salvation? Can they be able to stand and say that I know so and so? kama wewe utakuwa ni yule ambayo wanasema ya kwamba kama wokovu ni ya akina fulani kama wokovu utakuwa ni ya fulani ama vile anavyofanya afurahi kai yani so you need to know who you are in this kingdom how do you present the kingdom of god How can you be counted as one of the soldiers in the army of the Lord? How are people looking at you? Those who you get close to, how do they look at you? How is your witness? Kwa sababu wewe ni mwakilishi, wewe umewakilisha ndio fulani. Amen. So be careful and search your heart in your heart. The other qualification ni kwamba is and with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace your feet fit with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace maadiso ya kwanza ambayo tulikuwa tumesoma hapo awali ilikuwa inasema ya kwamba unastahili kuwa uko tayari kutumwa unastahili kuwa uko tayari kusema ya kwamba mimi niko tayari nikaweze kufanya kasi ambayo Bwana wangu amenipatia. Ile Mungu amesema Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. Isaiah 6 verse 8. Inasema hivi Isaiah 6:8 Then I heard a voice of the Lord saying who shall I send and I will go for and who will go for us and I say sent here I am sent me here I am sent me lasma ujue ya kwamba 
kuna maagizo ambayo tumepewa na haya maagizo lazima tuyafuate if you are you know that you are chosen you are a workmanship of god and god has appointed you to do his work then when he calls you need to be led like isaiah he says that when i hear the voice of god calling who shall we send he stood up and he said here i am send me amen here i am send me many times when we have a vacancy many times when we want to go out you find this house right now is full but during the times when you want to do a vacancy unakuta ya kwamba ni kama watu kama tu hizo ndio wanafikana peke yake na tunajua ya kwamba for people to know about Christ is for us to be able to reach out to them and tell them about Christ because the word of God says how will they know if there is nobody who is going to tell them about Christ and how will they know if nobody is going to go kama hakuna yeyote ambaye atakayeenda kuambia watajuaje lazima kuwe na yule ambaye atakuwa ametolea atasema ya kwamba mimi nikiwa najua ya kwamba mimi ni mfanyikazi wa Kristo lazima nisimame na nitumike kwa kufanya kazi ya Bwana so during the time of evangelism please let's have you yourself na kufanya kazi ya Mungu it's not that hard Yesu akamwambia wanafunzi wake wakati siku ile ambayo walikuwa na toka aliwaambia in the name and then do not carry even anything just go go in at that particular time when you are engaged with that person the holy spirit will give you what you have to tell them amen but how do you put this in practice juice tulikuwa na revivals hapa and the person who was teaching us He was reminding us we have to keep God at his word. Amen. Tukisema ya kwamba Yesu anaponya. How do you practice this? Hapa tu tunasemana kwa mdomo lakini hatuwezi kuambia mtu ambaye hako mgonjwa hapa ya kwamba nimekuwekea mkono na katika jina la Yesu Kristo pokea uponyaji wako. Na uamini hivyo. You know the mission that is not to us He can see yako. Let's agree on that. Then the mission kazi sio yako. Wewe mtenda kazi. In any company that has employed you, you are employed to do what that company requires you to do. So if we are in this mission of God, God has his mission. When we pray we ask God, God send us to the people that we are prepared. Tujume kwa wale watu ambao umetayarisha roho sawa. Na kama Mungu amekutuma kwa fulani, anachua itaji ambalo yule mtu ako nalo. Na kwa hakika kama unamtegemea Mungu, God is going to give you the utterance at that particular time. The engagement that you are going to have with that person, God is going to guide you. All we need is to say, "Here I am." sent me Amen? here i am sent me how many of us are willing to say that many times we find we feel many times we feel to know hope unaanza kujuli na akienda kimuliza na akienda na kama wewe unajua ya kwamba wewe ni mfanyikazi katika mwili wa Kristo. You just need to say, Lord, 
You know my weakness? You know how I am? But I know one thing. That you can use me. You can use me. And as I use that this particular time, I need your strength. As I reach out to this person, I need your strength. I need you to tell me what God I need to do. If I meet with this person, how will you be able to talk to this person? And I can assure you with all my heart that if you rely completely on the word of God, not on your own, because you are not going to fight the battle with the strength that you have, with the knowledge that you have. Amen? Don't use your knowledge. Release yourself to the Spirit of God. Let the Spirit of God guide you. Let Him tell you what you ought to be. And with that, God is going to win souls for His kingdom. Amen? Then, the next one is the shield of faith. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith. Take up the shield of faith. First John chapter 5. First John 5 verse 4. But the Bible says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. For everyone who is born of God overcomes the world. If you are born of God, if you are born of God, you are your lady of victory. Amen? Amen? If you are born of God, I, let me repeat it again. Maybe you didn't get it well. If you are born of God, you already, you already are victory. I think that's where you need to say hallelujah. Amen. If you are born of God, victory is on your side. You don't need to struggle. Victory is on your side. Yes, who? Are you put in the He came here with a mission. And he knew that at one time, at a kiwa wakati alikuwa katutoka dogo kama hawa. He knew a time is coming when I will be a lamb that is going to take away the sins of me. And all through he prepared himself. And he knew that at one time this is going to happen to me. I'm going to be crucified. I'm going to die and I'm going to resurrect. So he focused on his mission. And throughout, God was with him. He never abandoned him even one time. Even at that time when Jesus said, Eloi, Eloi. Sia kwamba mungu alikuwa amimundoka. Bali, at that particular time, Jesus was fulfilling his mission, which was for him to take away the sins of men. And God cannot look at sin. And at that particular time, he had to look away from his own forgotten son. Because at that moment, that the time when now Jesus was taking away the sins of men. But in his mission, God was with Jesus all through. So, we need to know that in this mission, in this mission, God is with us. Our shield is not going to be any other thing. Our faith, what we believe. If you believe God is with you, if you believe that you have a mission and you are going to do it, that will prepare you to do what God has called you to do. Amen? Amen? So, we need to take the shield of faith. 
the shield of faith. Then, I'm seeing my time is almost the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. I give an example of our brother who I know is a good leader. At every time you find him using a helmet. Philippians 
to Ephesians 2 verse 12 to 13 and say my therefore my beloved as you have always obeyed so now not only in my presence but much more in my absence work out your salvation work out your own salvation with fear and troubling for it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure can you believe that Bili kumi na tatu wasema hivi Kwa maana Mungu ndiye atendaye kazi ndani yenu katika katika kwe, kwenu na kutenda kwenu kwa kulitimiza kusudi lake njema Afa, fanyeni mambo yote bila kununulika wala kushindana ili msiwe na msiwe na lawama wala hatia bali muwe wana wa Mungu wasio na kasoro katika kizazi chenye it is god who works uh, in you both to will and to do uh, to work for his good pleasure so you you are vessel you are just a vessel and god want to use you and whatever god want to use you for he will accomplish. So for you is just to say, I'm led to be used of God. And God is going to use you as he wills. Amen? And let you be a kwamba, work out your salvation with fear and troubling. With fear. So you are going to be a kid, you are going to be a kid, you are going to be a kid, you are going to be a kid. So fear, you No, that's how you need to fear God. Fearing God is honoring the word of God and obeying that word. Amen. Unajua ya kwamba hili ni neno la Mungu. Na kama hata kama ulikuwa unaenda kutenda dhambi unasema, "Ah ah, mimi najua mimi ni mwana wa Mungu and I'm not supposed to involve myself in this. I'm going to do the right thing." So, work out your salvation with fear and trouble. Na wacha Mungu akaweze kufanya kazi yake kulingana na mapenzi yake. Then the last one the last one is the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. Amen? Hebrews 4.12 The book of Hebrews 4 verse 12 In the same way, Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. You know, when I use my hand, when I use my hand to point at you, how many fingers are pointing at you? I believe this is something that you can be able to see. How many fingers are pointing at you? One. How many fingers are pointing at me? I have five fingers. So if I'm pointing with you with one finger, the less are pointing at me. See you? So, you know, neno na mungu na tuambia, don't change others. Amen? When you are, you are looking at somebody of you need to look more on yourself than looking at that person. When the word of God says that the, it, the, the word is sharper than two edged sword. When you are a, the sword sword in a kwanga in a shapanua pande sote mbili sindio pande hii na pande hii so in a katanga na pande sote inapo kata inapo sema juu ya fulani kumbuka chikumbuka hata uo mwini 
How is this word relating to your situation? How is this word uh, ministering at you? Neno la mungu ila kusaindi yachi. Kwa sababu neno la mungu ila ungumia huyo mtu wa mbao unongia na ye, na pia ila kundumia. Niyapo simama haba siku ya leo ni kibiri, hili neno wa mbao nao sema, ila kundumia na pia mimi ila nindumia. Amen? So, you need to take the word of God seriously that it's not just to reach out to that person because it will start with you. Whatever you are telling that person has to start with you. You see what happened in Yule Ambae when I said my we are going to preach about the water and later you are taking wine. So the word of God is supposed to be a pride or a cross. Even where Hama ni yule ambayo unai muambia neno la mungu ni hile lini. Na tunasairi kushukua neno la mungu likiwa vile tu buwana mesema. Kile ambacho amesema we need to take that one and apply it in our lives as it is. Amen? So The word of God is a double-edged sword. It penetrates. It cuts across. It separates in between the joints in man. That means it goes deeper. It goes deep, deep within you. It will open your mind. It will open your heart. It will give you the insight. It will show you the sin that you need to repent. Let me now even as I speak. I know kuna jambo ambalo linaweza kuja kwa wasu lako. Ikukumbushe ya kwamba hii haikuwa sawa. That the spirit of God is reminding you of what the, the sin that you need to repent about. So the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. And our last reading comes from the book, the last book of the Bible. The last book of the Bible, which is Revelation. The book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 12 to see. Uh, Revelation chapter 1. I believe we know who this verse refers to. This is Jesus. The Bible in this verse is referring to Jesus. And the last part, I will wish you in a sense of a word, when we walk in, we go and read it, give a child to a soul. And his face was like the sun shining in full strength. Meaning, in a fact, the word of God was that word which was coming out of his mouth was what this verse is referring to. The two-edged sword that was coming out of his mouth is the word of God. And The word of God is able to penetrate and to cut across other mari and bapo since we are here at waste. Na kilombo enda kumalisia ibanda ya siku ya leo. Na teka kutu kawese kufita kani dani ya mwere yetu. Na kumabalia kuluma mwere ya mwere tumetoka wakati kuluma wasa. Tuluma sema ya kwamba Sisi ni wafani kasi wa kwana. We are the core workers with Christ. And if you know that you are a core work with Christ, kuna yale madizo ambayo tumepeo. Ambayo tumepeo na sima tuinafuata. Ya kwanza tulisele ya kopa, lazima uwe umiokoka. Lazima uwe umiokoka. Hiyo, akuna yoyote ambayo ya meza kusimama mbele ya mtu yoyote yule aanse kusema juu ya kristo kama hauta kuwa na usiyano na 
Amin Kristo. Kwa hiyo njia ya kwanza ya hili ambayo inafaa ni hili ambayo kwa yule mtu ambaye amepea na maisha yake kwa Kristo. Ambaye amesema ya kwamba namtambua huyu Kristo. Huyu ni mwokozi, huyu ndiye anayeokoa. Kwa hiyo lazima na wewe pia huo ukifoka ili ukaweze kuingizwa katika ufalme ama mission ya kuafikia wale ambao bado so if you are here today and you know for sure you have never made this confession remember where we live that we make through our confession this is what leads to salvation and you believe in your heart that what leads to righteousness so if you have never made this confession and you have never had that opportunity to believe in this god this is your chance for you to grow and for you to be given a living ambayo utafanyika kwa of those who god is going to use for his mission i want I would like us all of us to start. I would like us to start. And I just want